So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week two, and we're going to be looking at 801 and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Wish Seeker 2, complete week two of wishing all the best. So this is not hard. This is literally what you're supposed to do in the beginning of the week. At least I, that's what I do. I usually do story first and then I do everything else. Inner fires get solar, void, or strand final blows. Bonus prog progression is granted for scorch, volatile, or suspended final blows. Not hard at all. You could probably do this with Wish Seeker 2. So you might as well just use vo solar, void, or strand. I'm going to be doing solar just because solar is my favorite uh, uh, subclass personally but strand is also my favorite too it's kind, it's kind of hard like strand is cool void is definitely dope but there's more solar and strand like artifact mods than void void has none this season so that's why i'm like voids like usually is good but i i want to have fun uh foes of the dragon taken to defeat taken anywhere in the system defeating taken in, in riven's lair or the coil grants additional progress Additionally, complete pathways in Riven's Lair or the Coil. I would just say do the Coil. You'll probably complete it in one full run because the Coil is long as hell. Uh, Dragon's Defender 2. Defeat targets with shotguns and bows. Gain bo additional progress for Guardian Final Blows and Final Blows within Riven's Lair or the Coil. Again, um, use a bow and a shotgun in this one. So that way you guys can complete both of them. And you could probably double dip and do Inner Fires as well uh absolutely stunning stun champions this one's not hard we're gonna go to see which one is the nightfall for this week and if it's a good one then i would probably just tell you to stun the same enemy over and over the sun's fire defeat guardians with solar damage and crucible not hard i'm gonna be doing this i'm gonna be playing crucible probably all week um i will tell you guys why probably at the end um it's iron banner but more specifically uh we have access to old armor Precision calibrations, calibrate marksmen's weapons, scout rifles, sniper rifles, linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows. Bonus progress against guardians. Not hard. Uh, I would probably combine this one with dragon's defender. Uh, it's not, they really should have, should have put a bow here because that's definitely a precision weapon, but uh, I would put linear fusion rifles with this one. It That's going to be the easiest thing to do. So that is pretty much it for that. We're gonna be looking at Ada. So again, okay, Valkyrie Zero. Uh, she was selling this last week. I, I still think this is a dub of a shader. You definitely should pick it up. Just be aware that when you're shadering this, you're definitely, unless you like the orange, I personally really don't, uh, you're gonna wanna combine it with armor pieces that don't have that orange. And there are some armor pieces that don't show the orange. You just have to really find it. We have Cairo's Black, which I, I like this shader, but it's the Kaka green, bro. Like I'm not the not the biggest fan of it. We have War Cold Scheme. I love this shader. The shader is from uh, Warmind. It's definitely a cool shader. I definitely would recommend it just because the blue is super cool and there is gold in there just to let you know. As for the armor, it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna go check for the Titans and Warlocks because actually I just remember their their stuff, but I'm still gonna look at it because. For the hunters, I like pretty much everything. The helmet's okay. Uh, where are you? World, world. Wow. Yeah. So hunters, I think the arms are useless. The helmet's pretty cool. I shouldn't say useless. The arms are decent. I've used them before. It's just that I'm not really impressed with them. Chest piece is probably the best piece from the whole set, just because if you want to go for like a tactical or like a militaristic look, the chest piece is going to be the best piece. The cloak is kind of boring. The boots, unfortunately, the bandages at the bottom don't change color specifically on the right side and i think uh like let me just check real quick before i say some shit that i don't mean so yeah the bandages on the right side don't change color which is unfortunate because i do like that um the that those boots better than the other ones we have and the helmet is probably the other cool part as well for Titans, I think everything but the mark is really cool. I think the helmet is super dope, especially since that is the helmet. You can actually change all of the color of the helmet. Uh, I specifically say that because the Vanguard one specifically does not change color for the visor, and this one does. Uh, the arms are really cool. I think the chest piece can be utilized, and I think the boots are really cool. Warlocks, I think the chest piece is probably the best piece from the whole thing. The helmet is pretty cool. The arms are pretty boring. The boots are very generic looking boots. 
but if you like that tactical look you can definitely combine it with that and then the bond is really boring so let me know what you guys think about 801 definitely some dope stuff she's selling i definitely would recommend at least some of these shaders as for eververse we have the welded brass this is a really cool shader if i remember correctly this is the shader that the glow is like super purple so i definitely would recommend this one this is a new shader spark of joy it's a pink one and not a bad one at that like it's actually pretty decent we have cannon fodder which yep just uh, you know whatever we have the logic for the lament i probably will be picking this up just because i have no ornament for my lament uh just because there's another one that just i think is a shader change but this definitely looks cool we have bug catching uh let's get the stuff at the bottom we have dancing harlequin i might pick this up i mean i don't i don't know the only reason i would pick one like this up is for the like the scope to see if it's better but i already have one that i like more than this one so i'm like that's why i'm like i don't know we'll see uh segment zrig i don't sec segment i don't know whatever this looks cool um yeah, this this actually looks pretty cool wow we have uh this i'm not even gonna say that name <clears throat> is that the ship is that a ship that is a ship looks way too small uh kit shell is yeah this is that one i'm i'm gonna be real with you i don't like this one at all like the whole set like the the sparrow ship and ghost i'm not a big fan of it uh magic wand Cool. We have boosted backflip. I kind of want to get this one, but at the same time, it's not that cool, like crazy. <laughs> and for the other stuff, we have a uh, vitreous entrance. We have reef shimmer. That one's pretty cool. I like this one. And vex invasion effects. For the shaders, growing guilt. Um no we have heat shielded Ooh, this looks kind of cool though it does have gold obvious well i shouldn't i shouldn't say obvious because these most of the time these shape these colors don't exist in the shader but there is gold you can see it under under the chest piece time honored i i like the shader quite a bit i yeah like the reason i like it is because the fur here and the fur here are like so close which is why i like it a lot and then iridescent coral which i like this one i just never wear it so let me know what you guys are interested in picking up from eververse as for the thing at the end ugh, saladin's finally selling the old armor set from from year two and three so the reason i okay let me show you my collections real quick so i was only missing the iron pledge ornaments uh specifically everything but the arms because i randomly got it in Warmind from an iron iron not even an iron banner match it was just like a random crucible match if i remember correctly so i've always been missing these pieces because i started playing um that's well let's be realistic uh i started playing destiny 2 since the beta of destiny 2 i'm i'm a much older veteran <laughs> let me just say that i've been playing destiny since destiny 1 beta so i'm old but what happened was i played on a console and around Warmind. I switched to PC, so all of the stuff that I got from Destiny 2 Vanilla to Destiny, what is it, to Warmind, uh, I lost all of that, and the last two to three weeks, I was playing Destiny 2 to try to get as much stuff as I can, which is why I also don't have this much, um, because again, I was doing so much at the time that the ornaments were like, not the last thing in my head, but the things that I, I kind of like missed out on, so i did get the iron banner stuff for all the classes like specifically the named lord stuff because i thought it was so dope that i was like i need to get this this is super dope so and at the time i was like super new to console or not console to a uh, pc gaming so i didn't feel that confident in completing these uh objectives because a lot of them were like get like 50 sniper kills or something like that get so-and-so kills so a lot of them were, i was like i'm still learning how to play so i'll do these later and later never came so 
I am really happy that Iron Banner is finally reselling a lot of this stuff just because again I was there when we, when it was like I was there when the laws were being written bro the it's just unfortunate that I switched consoles or yeah switched to from console to PC so I will be doing a review for this armor just because a I've never really done fashion with this armor the iron pledge armor this one however I've done a fuck ton of fashion for this specifically the cloak and the chest piece and the uh, helmet the arms and the boots I think are the weakest portions for the hunters for everyone else we're gonna go through it um, I will probably just do these like super fast because I already have them and then for the iron pledge stuff you guys will have to wait for that but let me know what you guys think I have a lot of content of you guys this is the end of the video you guys can leave but I do want to at least mention some of the content that I'm gonna be making because it is a lot I had to write it down because it was a lot so I I just have so much to do like now that I really look at this list because like I still haven't even done the ornaments for the classes specifically the exotic ornaments that we got this season uh, I made the sets already I just need to edit it and that's like the biggest problem that I have is just I don't have enough time to play all the stuff that I want and then edit all of the stuff that I need like I've already done sets for these two I've already done sets for the hunters or the titans and the warlocks so Please be patient with me. I am just one person doing this channel, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.